Hey, so today I want to do a little bit of a tutorial on how to stream using two PCs, or in my case, I'm using a laptop and my other PC without a capture card, um, but using Steam. Also, my experience using an NDI server. So first, the main reason I even did any of this is because I wanted to figure out how to stream better without having to purchase a capture card. And so I looked into these other options. So an NDI server is where you open up OBS on both of the computers. On the computer that you're going to game on, you set up OBS as an NDI server. And then your other PC can receive that signal over your network. And it does, you don't even push record, you don't push stream or anything, it just can see it it can see whatever's on that session of OBS. My experience with it though is it had um, too much lag transporting over to the PC. So what that meant is if I wanted to hear the game accurately, I needed to have my headset on the gaming PC. But the purpose of doing this is to not have the CPU doing so much work. So adding more things for the computer to do, like adding the cam and adding other things to it to try to, to have to transport over on the NDI was literally counterproductive. So it led for this weird situation where I just couldn't do that. So I just uh, had my headset and everything set up on the streaming PC. And because of that, all of my bullet shots were like a second off. Like it was just weird and I'll show you some clips. Just you can tell, and I have a I have a clip from my stream that I did when I was set up like that, and it's just really awkward to see the the mouth to the to the audio is just so weird. You see my reaction before it is actually happening on the game, and I'll show you a clip. Next to me. Oh frick! There's a guy in this thing right here. In what thing? In the house? Yeah, in this house. <laughs> this is stupid. Oh my gosh, nice. <laughs> so in this clip, you can see right when I start saying some words here, um, it's just it's just weird. It doesn't match up. Oh frick! There's a guy in this thing right here. Now in this next part, notice uh, my health going down while you're actually hearing the shots happen. It, it, it's it's just it's just awkward. You're hearing the shots happen, and then it's just weird. You'll see. In what thing? In the house? Yeah, in this house. <laughs> This is stupid! We'll do that again. Yeah, in this house. This is stupid! And then right here in this and this part's extra great. You just see uh like I, I'm reacting to getting scared by this guy, but just watch my mouth first. <laughs> so that's basically been my experience using an NDI server. So it didn't work out super well for me. I'm sure I, it was just too weird to try to set up talking to people on Discord and hearing the game audio it, correctly. It was so it was it was really more of a hassle, and I it I got pissed. <laughs> now I'll show you a clip so you can see the quality of what it's like using my current setup and how um how the audio matches up to the video so much better. But I'm gonna run closer to you guys because I don't want to be separated. Yeah. Oh, there's a gun over here. Ooh, it's an SKS. I would come pick it up, but I'm right, very far away. You're not that far away. Oh. shot at. Oh. Yeah. Probably gonna die. Because they have auto aim. Oh! Know. Nice shot. Nice shot, Travis. The audio in that clip is so much better, and I've got another one. Sure, I've only died to get like 200 people. I've got 15 left. That guy is dead! How is he not dead? Enemy uplink severed. Uplink I've never uplink. seen a guy have uplink. one bar of health Enemy left uplink. with me shooting him for three Body more spread. seconds and he doesn't die. Like Enemy that is so crazy. That's just like, that's just not a thing. In that clip, you can see my mouth and the audio matching up so much better. Um, everything looks clear. The game is running smoother. But that is the quality you can expect when streaming from the NDI server versus streaming from Steam. In a future video, I'll even be able to compare using a capture card versus these other ones. So be on the lookout for that. So now I'm going to show you how I do a two PC stream setup using Steam and not a capture card. 
Now, I can only do this with games that are on Steam, but that's okay because almost every game is on Steam. The first step is you have to open up Steam on both computers. So I have Steam opened up on this one, and I have Steam opened up on the laptop. And now what you'll notice is that now there's this button right next to where it says play, and it knows what is on these machines. So you can see it says, uh, do you want to just play on this machine or do you want to stream from, so my other one, it's an MSI laptop, so it's named MSI, so it knows that. On my MSI laptop, you can see my other desktop name. It, know, it knows what it is. It says you want to stream it from there. What Steam allows you to do is I can click right here, stream from MSI. It changes the button. And then it's literally this easy. It's crazy. I just push this, and it opens up. It opens up the game on the laptop and puts it over onto the other monitor. The lag here is non existent, basically. The downside to this is that it uses bandwidth from your actual internet connection. While now, you can see I've got the game open up here, and what's cool is um, I can use this computer's keyboard and mouse to play the game. I'm not actually playing it on the laptop. It literally does zero latency over your network. The down There's a downside to this though. The downside to this is that uh, when streaming, I can really only do a bitrate of 3000 when I'm streaming because so much of the bandwidth of the internet is being used transporting it from one to the other and keeping it zero latency. Um, a lot of people that stream first person shooters like player unknowns battlegrounds and stuff usually have it at 3500 and my internet is fast too. It's 200 down and I can't remember how many up but it's it's really good and so that's the downside of having to do it this way. Now I know that isn't much of a tutorial but I just wanted to give you some of my experience, show you some clips, the difference between an NDI server and just streaming it from Steam to your other computer. I hope it's been a little bit informative. It's been a little bit more like a review. Coming soon, I will actually be having a second PC instead and I will be using a capture card so I can be capturing in even better quality and be able to play non-Steam games in the future. If you enjoyed it or if it was helpful, leave a like. Be sure to follow me on all the socials. I stream on Twitch every Monday and Thursday. I'll probably come out with a new setup video here in the coming weeks when I get the whole new setup done. Thanks for your support. Thanks for being subscribed and have a good day. Just to show a little bit of how I normally have the game set up, I've got a few different scenes um, on my dashboard, I like to set up chat to be pop out. So I set that up, opens the chat up over here. I just minimize it a little, put it down here. And then I'll just close out. I'll be somewhere in the Discord, probably the Travi Dead server, get that minimized. And then I can see my stream over here, playing the game over here and it's really solid.
This is stupid! 